Hey, hey, how doing? Holmes here, and welcome back to some more Stellar Blade boss guy. Today, we are going to be taking on the Demo Gorgon or the Demo Claw, whatever. It's two names. Uh, and I'm going to be showing off my gear here before the fight because there's a long ass cutscene uh, after the fight. So, yeah. Uh, my stats as usual. And this is going to be a main mission. So, no map here. And here are my skills going into this fight. At this point of the game, you should have like most of your skills, yeah, <laughs> upgraded and normal th uh, difficulty. And uh, yeah, uh, this boss is kind of annoying. It has three phases, and there's like a weird gimmick at the very end as well. So, and I'll show you guys how to get through all of them. Did we make it? There's a strong electromagnetic field surrounding this place. It feels just like the eye of a hurricane. Over there! My goodness! What did you... What have you done to yourself? I see all that pain. I'll put an end to it. Okay, so first phase it has it has no weapons, it has just claws, so that three hit. And then this overhead is just one hit, so you can carry or block that. Uh, uppercut and then there's a second hit, so that's two hits. One, two, that's two hits. Um, this one, when it flashes red, this is a four hit combo. Fourth hit being a yellow attack, I mean, not yellow attack, a blue attack. So you can forward circle to counter that. All right. Uh, you wanna keep close range. If you're far, it'll start doing this. Uh, this you can strafe around or you can try to perfect dodge him. And sometimes you can just do a blue attack out of nowhere. So forward circle to counter that. It's a grab, so be careful if you miss the timing. Here's the delayed triple sweep. So just keep in mind of those attacks that it's doing, because it'll also do this in the second and third phase, except it'll have a sword. So, uh, okay. This yellow attack, you can just jump it. You can perfect dodge it, but if you can't get the timing down, you can always just jump it. So at around 80% uh, of the boss's HP, it will go into second phase. That initial like yellow attack, it won't do damage if you get hit. And then here are the sweeping attacks. So this is a three hit, just like the claw attack, except it has a weapon now. So there's a two hit version. It looks very similar to the third hit. Uh, and then the overhead now has a three hit. Okay, so instead of like just one, it has two quick ones and a third hit with a little bit of delay to it. And we managed to break its uh, posture, I guess. I don't know what you... I'm pretty sure there's a name for it in this game. I just don't ever remember it. I just keep calling it posture. So, and then we landed a crit there. Uh, this laser beam attack, you can just run towards the boss to avoid that. You can also run around the boss. Uh, and if you're feeling brave, you can try to do a perfect uh, dodge through it. So it's doing a lot of the moves that we went over earlier. It doesn't have much... Here's the jumping attack, so that's only one hit, okay. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because in the third phase, that has two shockwaves instead of just one. And yeah, you can still jump them. Um, you can also perfect dodge them, but jumping it, in my opinion, is way easier. Alright, uh, here's a unique red attack combo that hits six times, and then the sixth hit being a purple attack, so you have to hold back and circle to counter that. This. I've rarely seen him do it. Okay, that's like I spent one hour trying to figure out this guy's <laughs> all its moves and try to get it in one fight, and this is the first time I've seen it like doing that six hit combo going into purple attack. Uh, it usually will do um, either. Uh, oh, okay, it can also do a purple attack right off the bat, just like that. But yeah, what I was getting at, it's it, it'll usually do like. Uh, a four hit combo uh, and the fourth hit being the blue attack which we saw him do 
uh, on the first phase with the claw attack. And then there is another 6 hit combo ending with a uh, yellow attack and it's about to do it here, it's not this one. Come on, I'm not saying it either. <laughs> it's another like, you'll see the boss like flash red like that and then 1, 2 and then 2 overheads and then another sweep and then last hit being a yellow attack. So perfect dodge that and then you get in some more counter hits and at this point the boss will go into what is this like 45% HP uh, the boss will go into third phase and third phase it has a few new attacks this move right here the erupting move you can run towards the boss to avoid that this can happen on first phase I believe as well it's not a third uh, a third phase is exclusive this laser move right here where it spins you can dodge it by or avoid it by just keeping far away from the boss. Uh, that's a third hit, I mean third hit, third phase exclusive. Uh, this ground pound it has two shockwaves, so you can do double jump and then air dash to avoid all of that. And let's see what else, these are your typical moves. This move right here, yellow attack going into blue attack, that is a third phase exclusive. If you manage to perfect dodge the yellow attack by sidestepping it, um, you can go in for a counter hit to interrupt the blue attack. If you miss it and you do get hit, just get ready to counter the blue attack by holding forward circle. So that move can come out of nowhere. And I got clipped there, so it did like decent damage as well. But you know, I'm doing the, this whole crap with no healing, so. <laughs> It's it's a little bit risky, but if you're just like if you're fighting it normally, it shouldn't be like too bad. This is one of the more challenging bosses, I guess, up until this point. Uh, just because it's projectile. This right here is wind scar thing. You can just dodge that by dodging, like running sideways. This move where it teleports towards you, it's only a one hit. Um, there is a little bit of a delay when it gets to you, like it, it won't strike right away, it'll strike like after 2 seconds. So just get ready to, uh, you know, do a perfect dodge for that, you can dodge sideways to avoid that. And let's end this. I always overestimate how much that burst skill can do. <laughs> do not kill the boss. Alright. Come on. Purple attack again, and it's done. Uh, by the way, there is a quick time event here, so don't miss it. It's gonna be an L1 right there. Damn those, those angles, yo. There's no call. Behind you. Charge the railgun. What? But there's no way you'll survive. It's okay. This is what I was born to do. <sighs> Lily, please. <sighs> this is all too much for me. Body cell connected. Full power overcharge ready. You get a last bit here is just this is straight up gimmick. So you shoot it at the the big ass eye and then it will shut its eyes and then there's like three more like small eyes on the side and then you just gotta pop those 
You gotta wait for the rail gun to finish charging. You, you try releasing it early and it didn't work. It has to like fully charge before you can shoot it. And I don't think you can die here. At least it doesn't seem possible because the boss doesn't attack. Maybe if you wait long enough it will. But anyways, that's it. That's all. <laughs> And yeah, uh, these are the items you get for beating this boss. And yeah, anyways, thank you all so very much for watching. And uh, hope this has helped you guys out if you're struggling against this boss. And if it did, hopefully you always stay tuned for more. But until next time, hope to catch y'all later. Homes out.